Luigi 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 Sir Pictures Presents Matthew for Hire Matthew for Hire Episode 16 Subway What's more to even be said, I mean, what's worth me discussing this entire job as a whole, other than it being an entire slap to the face? Nearly every customer I've dealt with, other than about two of them, one of which being the lady from IMC Theatres, were nothing but straight up insufferable to the core of me nearly blowing my brains out. Like the time I somehow ran into that green so-called Boris-like clone, in which this is like three, four times I've run into him I don't even fucking know that I've lost count. I just wish that these clones was just made up shit in my mind. And don't even get me started with my encounter with my dad showing his ass up in my face. Cause I especially and most definitely don't serve anybody who's in my family, and I'm sick of dealing with their shit. Cause I don't ever want to see either of them pop up in my sight, otherwise I will give them a hard piece of my mind. Anyhow, I've rambled on enough. 20 jobs is already around the corner, and I cannot bear to get myself to get fired 20 times in a row, I've already let loose my rage after being fired 10 times straight. However, I will at least try to make an attempt to get a hold of myself, but I can't guarantee that I will fulfill my promise. Anyways, this is the 15th times I've been fired, where should I work next? Oh, somehow I never considered this beforehand, I will get a job at Subway, I absolutely love their sub sandwiches they make there, so I guess it's worth a shot then. Welcome to Subway, how may I? Oh just great, lucky who of all people decided to show up here. And of course, I happen to run into the same guy who keeps constantly getting himself fired from every job on the day he's initially hired at. How the heck have you not even given up yet? Don't think I'm giving up easily, even though I have been fired 15 times in a row, I'm still doing this no matter what everyone like you think otherwise. Look, I don't want to bother wasting my time with this, now are you gonna order something or what? Yeah, I'll order a foot long Philly cheese to take sub with a small fountain drink. Okay, your total will be $11. Here's 15, keep the change. Alright, go have a seat, your order should be ready in a few minutes. Thanks I guess, but who knows if I happen to run into you again at another job, which I'm certain is highly possible. Holy Jesus, how should I have expected that I would eventually run into Elijah again? But at least he's one of the few customers I've dealt with that have been tame without making things difficult. Well at least he's done with, let's just get this job over with. Welcome to a subway, how may I help you? Can I order a turkey club with extra honey mustard and black olives please? Ooh, what the hell ma'am, I h freaking hate olives, they taste like absolute crap, remove that topping and choose a different one. What, sir, this is a job where you serve customers what they order, not take full control of them of what they should or not add okay, just let me order my sub so I can be on my way. Then either remove the olives and choose a different topping, or have nothing for yourself and leave the premises immediately. Sir, please stop making this so complicated, it's fine if you hate something that I order, but you should not have any right to tell people to not add something just because you hate it. Do I look like I give two fucks? Now pick a different topping for your order or get the hell out of my sight. Cause I am not serving you anything that has olives in it. Okay fuck this I'm not gonna deal with this shit any further. I'll just buy myself a cold cut sandwich at the nearby grocery store instead. I'm not gonna stand here all day wasting my time arguing over a freaking topping. I'm not coming back here until you man yourself up and do your job properly. Yeah, I told her, no one here orders a topping that I hate including freaking gross ass olives. Hey, dumbass. Yes you, what's with you putting nasty shit in the subs? What? What the hell are you talking about sir? Don't start playing games with me smartass. I was about to eat my sweet chili sub, and I happened to notice a fucking fly inside? What the fuck kind of proper so called service is this? Hey dipshit, I had nothing to do with your sub, blame the cook who made it, not me. Jesus Christ what is it with you customers being so insufferable? And what is it with you idiotic dumbasses not knowing fucking personal hygiene when it comes to food handling? I demand you to fix my order or I get a refund. 
and I just told you that I'm not responsible for any of this. And if anyone's to blame is the fucking cook. Get your stupid head checked to swipe. Who the fuck you calling a stupid head you stupid punk? You want to fuck around with me? Then I double dare you come at me a dumbass motherfucker. Take this bitch. Hey what the absolute fuck man? What the hell was that all for? Why throw that shit in my face? Hey asshole, you dared me to come at you, so that's what's gone to you, deal with it. Alright that does it I'm done here. I'm going home to take a shower, I can't stand you pathetic irresponsible dumbasses not keeping personal hygiene and having the guts to stoop to this level of awful moves like this. Good, you leave and don't even think about coming back here ever if you're gonna falsely accuse someone like me for messing up with an order. Holy fuck, what's with these fucking customers being complete dickbags and blaming random workers for messing up in order they are not even at fault? Jesus Christ get a grasp on fucking reality. Welcome to freaking Subway, how the hell may I? Well great, looky who I happened to run into. The guy who I had previously fired from an MC theaters has somehow got himself a job at Subway. Oh great, now I happen to run into another customer who was one of my former bosses. What the hell even brings you here? Shouldn't you be busy doing your management instead of being off duty? Well pardon my reasoning for being here. I currently have the day off from working and was planning to meet up with a friend of mine, but decided to make a quick stop on my way to get something to eat. And here I am at Subway encountering you working another job, and I can already assume that you're likely no doubt doing a terrible job handling orders to customers. I am doing my job perfectly and doing as I am directed thank you very much. The only thing occurring is most, if not all the customers are choosing to be a pain in the ass every time I say something otherwise. But hey, that's not my problem. Oh really, maybe it's caused them being so called pains in the ass as you showing rude behavior and not going through with what they order, isn't it obviously clear? I am doing exactly everything right, don't even try to further underestimate me further or I will give you a hard and painful time you will ever experience, now get the hell out of my sight now, cause I'm not gonna serve any customers who are my former bosses. Fine then, I already expected you weren't gonna serve me anything whatsoever, but you're still banned from coming to an MC theaters. Your banning may be up soon, but I will keep my eye on you if shit goes down again. Otherwise I will forever forbid you from ever coming again. Goodbye now. Yeah, we will see about that. I'm not scared. I'm a lot tougher than you think. Oh really? I'd like to see you try. What? What the hell do you want? You have a problem. You don't know how to mind your own buissness. Dude. I've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to enjoy my sub only to witness you being extremely rude disrespectful to those customers. And why should you care? This is between me and them, so how about you mind your own puissness as I said before? Bruh, you clearly ain't doing your job as how an employee should, also your loud behavior and arguing is disturbing everyone in here, so how about you man the fuck up and do your job correctly? Hey ya nosy prick, if you can't deal with what's happening, then how about you get out of this place then unless if you want to do this the hard way with me. Wow man, I've never seen an employee like you having the balls to escalate to this level of awful behavior. You sound like you need a hard load of therapy. I may as well not come back eating here until you get fired or man yourself up. See you around punk. Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you mind your own business or else you'll get a huge ton of beef given to you. More like next time you do your fucking job properly. Oh shit not again. Yeah, I heard everything from my office. Don't even try hiding it Mr. Patterson. Why the hell do you do everything in your own way instead of following proper procedures to a job? But ma'am, it was just a tough hassle I was dealing with. Just please give me another chance. No, you clearly started the whole hassle. I do not want to hear you make up any more bullshit excuses from you. You are officially fired and banned from ever coming to this place again. Now piss off out of my sight and I better not hear another word from you. 